Welcome friends. Uh, today we're going to continue our exploration of pop. And this is one that a lot of people requested from me. It is celery soda. Um, I think there's only one remaining company uh, in the American Northeast. Uh, they pretty much only sell in New York City. And it's called Doc Brown Celery Celery Soda. But pre-World War II, uh, this was a very popular drink. And I'm kind of intrigued by it, and I'm really looking forward to making it. So we're going to start out. I've got a juicer, and I'm going to juice some celery. Now, don't worry. If you don't have a juicer, you don't need to juice the celery. You could just use water. Great, so I'm looking for just about a cup of celery juice, and I've got just a little bit more here. I'm gonna put this into the pot. And there we go. And next in, I'm going to put celery seed and some cardamom seed. Uh, this, is, uh, this is cardamom that I've removed from the pod. You could just take pods and crush those up as well. Uh, this is just some stuff that I had in the, in the cupboard, so I'm going to use it. So I'll give this a stir. So I just want to bring this up to a boil, and once it's boiling, maybe boil it a minute, two minutes, and then we're going to take it off the heat and let it steep for at least a half an hour. Okay, uh, for all the Canadians out there, it smells like a Caesar in here. Uh, really smells like a Caesar. So I've got a super fine mesh strainer. And I just want to strain out this liquid. Okay, I'm going to clean the pot and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now we're going to pour this back into the pot. We're going to turn the heat back on, just kind of a medium, medium high. And we need to dissolve the sugar into this liquid. Um, there's a lot of sugar because this is a syrup. Uh, this syrup is then going to be mixed with carbonated water later, so it's going to seem like a lot of sugar, but uh, in the end it's really not. So in goes the sugar, and this is of course cane sugar. I know everybody's going to ask, so it is cane sugar. And we're just going to stir that and heat it gently until it's fully dissolved. Okay, this looks good. The sugar is fully dissolved, so I'm going to put this back into the measuring cup. And I have some citric acid here. I'm going to put that in and just stir it in. Now I'm going to stick this in the fridge and let it cool down completely before we give it a taste test. Okay, Jules. All right. Give it a little stir, not a huge stir. There you go. So, what have you made for us today? Give I don't think a, I stirred it enough. Give it a try. It smells like salad. It smells like. It smells like salad. <laughs> it smells like celery. <laughs> yes. I don't know if it tastes like celery, though. It's very slightly celery -er. No, it's a lot, a lot of that is smell. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot of foods, right? Like cinnamon, cinnamon's all smell. All about smell. Yeah. That so. is very refreshing, though. I could drink that all afternoon. It is refreshing, but I think every time I sip it, it's kind of like, why is there no gin in it? Well, you know what's interesting is it's kind of got that gin or it's Caesar kind of a flavor <laughs> to it. Because you always stick that. So Julie had no clue what she was coming in to taste. No clue whatsoever. Earlier in the video, I said, as I was making it up, I, 
looked at the camera and said, if you're Canadian, it smells like a Caesar in here. <laughs> so That's funny. So yes. Because it, it's that, that celery kind of, you know. So you could, this is a uh, little bit of clam juice and some vodka or gin, and you've got a Caesar, you've got a clear Caesar. You don't need the tomato juice. No, you could just, you know, if you wanted to swank it up, you could garnish it with like, you know, some little tomatoes on a stick. It'd be all. Tomatoes on a stick with a shrimp. All that. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> I was skeptical. I'm completely blown away by that. I could drink that all afternoon. Or something. To me, there's something really nice. It is about absolutely that. refreshing, but every time I taste it, it's like. Mm. It, it is a little bit distracting. A little, mm. little distracting. And, and that could just be because I'm not used to it as a beverage flavor. Does that make sense? I'm just not accustomed to it. Maybe if I drank it often, but it does, it is very refreshing. So in the 1800s, okay. this was a very popular beverage. Uh, it went by a bunch of different names. Celery Champagne was one of the names. Okay. There is, I think, only one producer left. And we looked for it when we were in Montreal, because yes. I thought if we, when we were trolling through um, some of the food places in Montreal that we'd be able to find it, because there is a Montreal-New York, New York connection. Yeah. Couldn't find it. Uh, you have to go to New York to get Doc Browns or order it and pay ridiculous shipping on Amazon, uh, which I'm not willing and to do. And cross border. Yeah, things. all that, all that right. stuff. Yeah. But now I'm curious: is there a lot of sugar in it? Um, there's as much sugar as any pop. Okay, yeah. so it's a regular. Soda it is. Kind of it is a regular pop. pop. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you want something a little bit different, um, and if you want something that would mix a really great cocktail. Um, you know, you don't have to think of it as a cocktail syrup, but if you want something that mixes a really great, give this a try. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Take care.